What is going on guys today we are going to talk about the best bang for your buck power mods that you can make to your Infinity Q50 3.7. These details go for the G37 and 370Z as well. If you guys haven't seen my videos discussing the parts that you absolutely do need and the parts that you absolutely do not need, I'd go ahead and check those two videos out when you get a chance. But today, there are a few components that I wanna talk about that get you the biggest bang for the buck. In other words, they get you the maximum performance out of your VQ37 without spending that much money. There are literally just three physical modifications that you need to make to your Q50 in order to get the results that I'm talking about here today. And one, software upgrade. Now, the first thing you need to do is improve your air intake system. Now I'm not a huge advocate for cold air intakes on this platform because this Q50 in particular just does not perform all that well or does not respond all that well to cold air intakes but nonetheless you're going to want to help it breathe with either upgraded uh, air filters or cold air intakes. If you want to go that route go for it. Now, I always recommend the dry drop-in filters from AFE. They're about $100 for the pair. They flow really really well and you don't have to worry about oil deposits making its way up to your MAF sensors which can cause some running issues. So AFE dry drop-in filters if I can remember I'll link them in the description below. Now if you do choose to go with the cold air intake system get a, like a Takeda intake system that is going to retain your factory air boxes. Insulating your uh, intake air from the engine bay heat is essential and that's why these factory air boxes work so well uh, i tested this out recently at soho motorsports check out that video which i'll also link in the description the g and the z air boxes factory air boxes work pretty well also uh, but they seem for whatever reason to respond a little bit better than the q50 to cold air intake so if you do choose to go this route again make sure you get a cold air intake system that that uh isolates the intake air from the engine bay air. So either retain the factory air boxes if possible or get yourself the long tube intakes which get the filters out of that engine bay and ensure that that cool air is brought into your engine. Now the real bottleneck is the catalytic converters and that is the case with every vehicle. The catalytic converters prevent this car from exhaling like it needs to in order to make good power. I'm not advocating for breaking any rules or breaking any laws but the reality is that going test pipes on the VQ37 is really the biggest upgrade that you can possibly make. Of course, not legal on the street. Of course, if you're bringing in more air and you're eliminating the catalytic converters, you gotta keep pushing that exhaust out the tail end of the car. And the factory diameter of the exhaust system is pretty small. So I'm going to recommend a completely new cat bag system, whether that's something aftermarket like Motordyne, for example, which is super popular, or of course, the Speed Culture Studios custom cat bag system. <laughs> inch setup with a Borla Pro XS mid muffler. Car is really going to breathe and really going to help you make a lot of power. Okay, let's get real. I'm not talking about a lot of power, but it's going to help you maximize the potential of your 3.7 liter V6. And finally, to tie everything together, you're going to want a tune. Ecutech software is the best bet for the VQ37. You can do this through a remote tune uh, with a company like Badman Tuning, for example, but your best bang for your buck or the best option is to get the car on a dyno at a reputable tuner like Soho Motorsports. That dyno tune is going to ensure that all of your new components are working together in synergy. That will ensure a harmonious relationship between air intake and air exhaust. They're able to finely tune your air fuel ratios as well as your timing, therefore allowing your car to work at its most optimum potential. These four simple modifications can be made for less than $2,500, and they're going to get you anywhere from 330 to 340 plus horsepower with about 275 to 280 foot pounds of torque, which is not too shabby. Well, I've talked about this many, many times before on the channel, but anything beyond that, any components beyond that start to get quite expensive and yield very, very little in terms of results. That is why I tell you today, there are four main components that you can upgrade in your VQ37, Q50 in particular to get you the biggest bang for your buck in terms of horsepower generation. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I get to every single one of them as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support more than you can even imagine. Good stuff for the channel coming, more giveaways, more good videos, whole bunch of stuff. So stick around. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.